Darby? Darby. Darby. Yeah, I know. I've gotten Furby before. We know you were pretty invested in the romantic history of Miss Darby Carter, but now that we know who she ultimately ends up with, it's time to focus our attention on something that is even more exciting. Would you believe the real-life relationship status of the cast of Love Life is even more colorful than that of Darby? We'll talk about all that in this video, and make sure you watch till the end, because we'll give you a sneak peek of the actor they cast to play the main character in Love Life Season 2 and his relationship status too. But let's start with Anna Kendrick. Like her character Darby Carter, Anna Kendrick's love life is shrouded in mystery. If you're not a super fan, we won't be surprised if you thought this girl has been single for the longest time. Though Kendrick herself is an open book, with her social media profiles filled with selfies and stories about her personal life, she never posts pictures of her going on dates or hanging out with a special someone. This means she's single, right? Nope, just really, really private about her relationship status. Anna Kendrick is actually in a long-term serious relationship with a cinematographer named Ben Richardson. They've been together since 2012. Yep, they're going nine years this year, but still haven't announced their relationship officially to the world. Yet, they are always spotted by paparazzi vacationing and spending all major holidays together. Now, while others are amazed at how Kendrick's fame has so far remained a non-issue for the couple, it bears mentioning that her boyfriend is quite the Hollywood hotshot himself, albeit behind the camera. While Kendrick soaks up the limelight as an A-lister, her man puts in work behind the scenes. In fact, Richardson is one of the most respected cinematographers in the game. He has even managed to take home several awards over the years, including two of the most coveted recognitions from the Oscars and the Sundance Film Festival. Richardson's claim to fame was Beasts of the Southern Wild, but all his other movies are critically acclaimed. So yep, way to go, Anna Kendrick. Moving on to Zoe Chow. Zoe Chow plays Sarah Yang, Darby's roommate and best friend. Zoe doesn't seem to be romantically linked to anyone at the moment. That, or she's even better than Anna Kendrick at keeping things low-key. But this doesn't mean Zoe Chow doesn't have a personal relationship that's worthy of a celebration. And that's her relationship with director Maya Lidovsky. Chow says this has been the longest relationship of her life so far. And that's awesome. In an interview with NBC News, Zoe said she met Maya on the first day of nursing school. They were three at the time, and apparently Maya was inconsolable on her very first day in school away from her parents. Zoe remembers coming up to her and asking her to play so Maya wouldn't cry anymore. They have virtually been inseparable since, and it's amazing they both ended up in the showbiz industry. And of course, the mere fact that they've remained the best of friends for over 30 years is truly impressive. Next up, Sasha Compare. In Love Life, Sasha plays Darby's other roommate and friend, Mallory Moore. Just like like Zoe, Sasha is very private when it comes to her dating history, but it appears she is neither married nor committed to anyone at the moment. So let's move on to Peter Vac. As for Sarah Yang's on and off boyfriend, all we can really talk about is her past relationship with Troyon Belisario, since he also appears to be single for now. Peter, who also starred in Homeland and The Bold Type, dated American actress Troyon Belisario after they co-starred in the 2010 drama movie entitled Consent. If you're wondering Wondering why Peter's ex-girlfriend's name is eerily familiar, you might know her for playing Spencer Hastings in the TV series Pretty Little Liars. But really, Consent is the highlight of her career. See, she won the Vision Fest Award for Best Acting by a Female Lead, as well as the First Glance Philadelphia Award for Best Actress for her performance in that movie. Belisario has a pretty colorful dating life herself. She previously dated Suit star Patrick Adam, and their relationship allowed her to get invited as one of the guests at Meghan Markle's wedding to Prince Harry at Windsor Castle as Adams plus one. Adams was of course invited because she worked with Markle on suits. Pretty cool, right? Next up, Leslie Manville. If you have no idea why Leslie Manville is on this list, then it's high time you find out that she's the one narrating the story on Love Life. So, of course, she's not exempted from this dating life scrutiny. Leslie has been married twice. First to Gary Oldman, who left her a few months after she gave birth to their son Alfie, and then to Joe Dixon, another actor. Her first marriage was tragic and dramatic, especially towards the end. Leslie and Gary had a silent but highly notorious split, but the aftermath is even worse. Manville tried to stay quiet about the whole thing, but later on criticized her ex-husband, saying he was not the perfect parent he would have other people believe. She said he plays a small part with the accent on the small. However, you might have 
have read in the press about how a wonderful father he is. That's a fair statement, as you know, because Leslie had been at home caring for their three-month-old son, while Oldman was out there hoping to catch Uma Thurman's attention. Soon after, Gary Oldman ditched his wife and child to come and live with the fresh-faced 20-year-old, but their affair just lasted 11 months. This time, it was Oldman who got dumped via a Dear Gary letter, where Uma Thurman said he was impossible to live with. Later on, Thurman said, it takes a very special kind of woman to put up with him. But going back to Leslie Mansville, she is now 64 years old, a single mother, and thoroughly enjoying getting to call her own shots. She says she doesn't think she's willing to give up enough wardrobe space to make way for another man in her life. Salut! Next, Hope Davis. Hope Davis plays Darby's mom in Love Life, but in real life, she has two daughters named Georgina and May. Their father and Hope's husband is none other than actor John Patrick Walker. The two of them started dating in 1996. At present, Walker is 52 years old, while Hope is 56. That means they've been together for almost 25 years. Before this current and subsisting marriage, Davis was previously married to Ford Evanson. They were together from 1987 to 1996. And now, for the big reveal, the actor that was cast to play the lead character in season two of Love Life is none other than William Jackson Harper. The showrunners thought they'd wrap up Darby's story pretty well, so they want to leave that as it is. Since the show was renewed for a sequel season, they had to pass the baton to a new character whose love life we can now start focusing on. Of course, Darby will still be there since Anna Kendrick is part and parcel of the show, but all eyes must now be on William Jackson Harper. But hey, all eyes have been on the guy ever since he showed up as the incredibly hot and incredibly nerdy Chidi Anagonye in NBC's The Good Place. So today, we're going to answer the million dollar question, is William Jackson Harper single? And the answer, unfortunately, is no. Just like Chidi Anagonye, William has found someone he wants to spend all his days with. That's none other than actress Ali Ahn. And boy, are these two relationship goals. Harper and Hahn showed up with matching black shirts at the 2020 Emmy Awards. What's so special about matching black shirts, you ask? Well, it's not so much the color as it is about what's printed on their black shirts. William and Ali wore shirts that said, Good Trouble. The statement referenced late Georgia congressman and civil rights icon John Lewis, who advised people in 2018 to make some noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble. But William and his ally are not the only ones who wore those statement shirts that day. Their cute little party was joined by none other than their dog, Chico. If that's not the sweetest thing ever, then maybe this is. After the two of them attended a red carpet event once, he posted a photo of them on Instagram and captioned it, look at my lady. No, seriously, look at her. I mean, dang, just dang. He then thanked whomever made his suit that night, saying he only felt worthy to stand beside his beautiful girlfriend because he had such a nice suit on. So it really does seem like William Jackson Harper has got it all figured out in terms of his love life. What we are left to find out in season two of the show, Love Life, is if his character could be just as lucky. Harper will play a character whose years long relationship with a woman he thought was his soulmate has ended. With the rug pulled out from under him, he is forced to dive back into the search for romantic fulfillment which he thought for the longest time he had already found. Like the first season, season two will still be set in New York. And series creator Sam Boyd tells The Hollywood Reporter that the stories from both seasons will have other points of connection besides Kendrick's Darby. Boyd said in one interview, it's important to us that it feels like it takes place in this extended universe. We have a fun way we can keep Darby floating in and out through this world. It's more of a baton pass to this new protagonist. And that's all the reoccurring cast members of the show, Love Life, and how they're doing romantically in real life. Since the series has been renewed for season two, maybe those who have yet to find real life partners will find one as they continue working on the show in the coming years. We'll keep you posted.